New in AutoCAD Architecture 2011 is the functionality to assign constraints and parameters onto the AEC objects. This can come in very useful when trying to create layouts as it allows us to link objects together so we can manipulate them in, in one rather than doing lots of individual manipulations here. So for example this length of wall here we can actually tell it that we want this to be aligned up to the grid line here so we just choose our grid line and then choose which side of the wall or, or the centre of the wall and that will then attach or constrain that piece of wall to that grid line so should we come down and actually move the grid line at all we can see that that piece of wall will actually move with it. We've got other tools here so for example we can align these two walls together just by choosing the size that we need and they become permanently aligned. We can also place dimensional constraints on here so for example we can dimension how far we want this bit of wall to come back. Put our dimension in here and we can also constrain the actual width of the corridor as well in here so for example we just pick our two lines here. Now what this means is as we manipulate our building here so if we decide that we need to change this wall we can just use the grips and we can see all of these walls adjusting and updating. If we need to adjust the actual depth of that wall there again we get grips that we can use on the parameter itself or we can just use its properties here and change its value and drive it dynamically through the properties palette. We've got a few other types of constraint that we can use as well so for example we can constrain these walls to be parallel to each other so we choose one and then the other and they become parallel and we can also force one wall to be perpendicular to another so again we have a perpendicular constraint on there and now we can see that we can highlight these walls and we can make whatever manipulations we like and we can see that they all have a relationship now so these walls will continue to update according to the parameters that we've got set but still give us enough flexibility to individually adapt the walls there as well. So in terms of productivity that allows us to lay out slightly more complex shapes but, but actually keep them related to each other so we can make fewer changes. We change one object and we can see that those related to it will update as well. What should be pointed out though is that if we have a lot of constraints in the drawing it can actually slow it down slightly so we shouldn't keep everything constrained or try and constrain everything for the sake of it just use it where we really need it. Some more productivity tools that we have in AutoCAD Architecture 2011 is the ability to place openings within walls with a bit more precision so for example if I take my external wall along the top here from the menu where we have to the option to add the window we can see that we now get a few different ways of actually adding windows in here so we can use grid lines that we can use space in between or just along the length of the wall so we'll choose just a wall on this one here and now we can choose whether we want just the inside edge say along that room or the outside edge for the entire length of the wall which is what we will choose we then have the options to set the number of windows in here so we're going to put say 10 and then we can start to see those spaced out along that wall there as we can see we've got all of the dimensions there if we need to change some of those settings we can just come over to the properties here and we can change the, the size of the window or the style of the window to suit but once we're done we just need to click to confirm and then they go all spaced evenly. Similarly we can place a door and we've got a few options with doors as well so one of the nice ones here is the entire wall function 
So for example, when we've got a, a corridor like this where we just need to put a fire door in and it's the entire width, we can just literally click on and place it to suit. Another option here would be to space evenly between grid lines or center on the grid line. So again, we can just place this on the, the actual wall here and we know that it's going to space centrally between these two grid lines. We just want to come and change our style before we do that and set the size of it accordingly. And then we can just click to place our door in. So we can see that those tools there are going to help us speed up the placing of our openings, allow us to be more accurate and allow us to save a little bit more time, a little bit more efficiency in there. We've still got some of our constraints so we can come and manipulate some of these objects to, to suit still. So we can see how these extra productivity tools can really save us a little bit of time um, and make us more efficient in our working day.